first ones up are the Techno Techno 15.85 grain Pro. All right, I'm going to sight in the Avenger, and you're going to notice that this is a little bit different than usual. Um, you've got a decibel meter and the chronograph. I'm going to do it all at one time. First shots will come from the Techno Gun 15.85 grain heavy slug. Velocity was 938. And the action on this Avenger is so smooth. A little low, but we came up. Velocity 949. shots are going to be the Crossman Premier Piranhas 14.3 grain. That last shot was at 930 feet per second. Nine hundred and sixty nine feet per second. This is still the pre the Crossman Premier Piranha fourteen point three grain pellet. Next uh, four shots are going to be the Crossman Dome 13.7 grain pellet. That last shot was 991 feet per second. shot was a thousand and twenty feet per second. Okay, first up will be the Crossman Dome 13.7 grain. Thank you. 
seven feet per second. Thousand five feet per second. This rifle does not like the crossman zone. Alright, so as you can see, this was where I was initially setting the scope, trying to get it on paper. I got it on paper now, and these are those Gamo um, red tails. The Crossman domed are all over the place. Um, I'm going to go back now, and uh, I want to set the camera up so you guys can get the a bird's eye view, and we'll shoot, we'll shoot over here on this clean paper and uh, see what kind of group we can get out of this thing. Okay, I'm gonna be shooting the H&M Field Target Trophy 14.6 grain pellet. This is from 35 yards. Nine hundred and fifty six. 
27 feet per second. Nine hundred sixty four feet per second. Nine hundred fifty four feet per second. Let's do one more here. Nine hundred and fifty seven feet per second. That's from thirty five yards. This is two in one hole, three in one hole, two in one hole, and one single hole. And I have not even completely zeroed the scope. I've just kind of got it on paper and left it at that. I've been shooting a bunch of different pellets. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few adjustments to the scope, and then we're going to hit this guy right here and get a real good group. Nine fifty nine. Nine fifty seven. Nine fifty six. Nine fifty eight. Nine fifty nine. All right. There is our, uh, Five shot group. And that is not too bad. 35 yards, and for those of you that are unaware, the wind is kicking up pretty good. We've got uh, about a 16 mile an hour crosswind running right to left. Makes sense. So I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna put some of those 20 run, 21 grain slugs through this and see what those do real quick. And then that will be it. These are gonna be the generic 21 grain eBay uh, slugs. Four shots at 35 yards. Eight hundred and nine feet per second. Eight hundred and five feet per second. Eight hundred and eight feet per second. Last one. Eight hundred and eight feet per second. And here we have the results of the generic slugs, the generic eBay twenty two caliber slugs. Here, here, and two into the same hole here. Now some portion, my aiming point was the 12 o'clock position here. That's to be expected though, the, the shift in aim. Uh, again, wind gusts account for some of this and I actually think I pulled that one. I'll look back on the video and see, but 
That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I've got the regulator set at about 2200. And for all that I have done, we're still, we went from a max fill of 4300 PSI, we're down to 3000. We're not even close to coming off the regulator yet.